Hi everybody, uh, this video is the required practical two for A-level biology, which is the root tip squash and observing mitosis. So let's see what we're going to do in this video. So in this video, I'm going to look at firstly the method and I'm going to look at the equipment and also uh, discuss some exam questions you might get related to that section. Secondly, I'm going to look at a risk assessment, uh, so hazards, risks and precautions uh, that you can do during the experiment. Thirdly, I'm going to talk about the mitotic index and how you actually observe mitosis and work out the rate of mitosis. And fourthly, I am going to look at some exam questions related to this required practical. So let's get started. So first of all, um, equipment you're going to need, okay, are things like you're going to need a garlic root or onion root, sharp knife, usually a scalpel. Um, you're going to need uh, quite strong hydrochloric acid, acetic orsine stain, ice cold distilled water, water bath at 60 degrees C, and we're going to be using some Petri dishes, but you could use uh, watch glasses. Uh, boiling tube, boiling tube rack, pipette, microscope slides, forceps, mounted needle, and filter paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the method, but also I'm going to intersperse that with some video from the class when we did the experiment. And obviously we're going to be using a microscope as well. So... Let's look at the exam focus here when they might ask you some questions about equipment. So let's have a look. Well, first of all, the hydrochloric acid, it softens the root tissue. Secondly, the stain turns the chromosomes a purple red color so that they can be observed. A mounting needle or mounted needle or even a, a, a set of tweezers. That means you can lower the cover slip. So we'll talk about the cover slip on the microscope slide at an angle to prevent air bubbles under the cover slip. And the root tip of garlic, the tip is the growing region. So this is the merry stem. Therefore, that is the site of mitosis. Right, so let's talk about the uh, method. So first of all, you transfer the root tips to hydrochloric acid. So in this case, I put it in a boiling tube with the root tips um, and they're put in the water bath at 60 degrees C and we left ours for about five minutes. You can then see these students, they're transferring it um, from one Petri dish to a Petri dish with water preferably you should use distilled water if you can and you leave it there for five minutes you then remove it very carefully and blot it with filter paper then you can transfer one tip onto a microscope slide or into a watch glass first and cut the first five millimeters from the growing tip um, so it's important that you cut that very carefully because that is the site of my mitosis. That's the meristem and that's the part that we're going to observe under the um, microscope. And then we need to add the stain. So you put the stain on the sample, OK, on the on the on the slide and you leave it for at least five minutes. Now, you might want to use some form of heat um, to dry it, but don't dry it completely. Then you add your cover slip. Now you add your cover, cover slip, and I'll show you this in the video, using tweezers or a mounted needle at an angle. That minimizes the introduction of air bubbles. And you can see that in the picture there of me lowering the cover slip. So what you do is you cover the slide and cover slip by wrapping a paper towel around the slide several times, then avoiding sideways movement. So it's important it's a straight, down process you're not moving it around if you move it around you're going to basically stop it from being a single just a single layer of cells and they're going to be bunching up okay so this film is just quickly showing students putting the stain onto the root tip so you can see the stain is in the pipette they're going to add a as you can see one drop I'm going to leave that for a while and they left that for about five minutes or so to dry out. Okay, so what you do is you're watching, so you, you get the cover slip, you place it at the 45 degree angle like that, 
and then you just lower it down okay and it should the stain should take up um in the rest of it okay then what you're going to do can you listen please okay is you're going to fold i probably actually would fold it a few times like that there you go fold that and you're going to then press you're going to very carefully press it down and then press downwards okay Who, who'd like to do that okay that's it that'll do that's it good okay and then you should have your squash there and you're going to place it under the microscope you're then going to use your um, light microscope you view under the lowest magnification and then go to higher magnification and you look for cells undergoing mitosis and when I say be patient, I mean be patient because uh, it takes a lot of looking for these things um, and it might take you several minutes to actually find what you're looking for. Um, OK, so let's talk about the risk assessment. You would be expected to write a risk assessment for this required practical. And the first uh, key thing is to look at the column. So we're interested in the hazard, the risk to the person and prevention. So first clear hazard is the sharp scalpel because that will cut your skin. So you could use a white tile to prevent it slipping or you could use a watch glass as well. You, and also you could cut away from the hand when slicing or even wear uh, thick gloves. Uh, hydrochloric acid, it is irritant and corrosive to skin. So you must use gloves or if you're not using gloves, you need to wash your hands if any splashes onto them. Definitely, you need to wear safety glasses to protect your eyes. The acetic orsine stain, it can be quite serious if you get it on your skin. Usually in a school laboratory, though, it's uh, been quite diluted. But you can get severe burns and irreversible eye damage. It could also cause allergic reactions. So it's important to wear safety glasses and wash off any splashes that get onto your skin. Right, so let's think about how do we observe the root tip squash well you're going to be looking for something like this slide now this is a professional slide so I'm guessing it won't be exactly the same in your example but you need to look for small square cells that are found in rows so there's no obvious vacuoles or thickening of the cell walls you need to calculate what we call the mitotic index so that's basically the number of uh, cells that are going through the different phases of mitosis you could even split it up related to phases but that's a bit more difficult to do so the mitotic index uh, usually you would be given this in a, an exam uh, but it's worthwhile learning it anyway so it's the number of cells in the field of view undergoing mitosis divided by the total number of cells in the field of view times by 100. So here's a question. So it says in a stained sample of dividing cells, 29 cells were visible in one microscope field of view. Three of these cells had clearly visible chromosomes, meaning that they have gone through mitosis. So what is the MI of the tissue? So what I'd like you to do is pause, have a go at the uh, question and see how you get on. If you didn't pause, go back do the question right okay so here we go here's the answer so step one substitute the counted numbers into the formula so in this case is 3 divided by 29 times 100 so complete the calculation so you should get 10 percent simple as that Right, here's another bit more difficult one here calculate the MI of the tissue shown in the photograph this photograph um, only count whole cells bit difficult I tried this earlier and I actually got it slightly wrong just one cell wrong but there you go so um, bit technical but have a go okay if you get it wrong don't worry too much I don't think you'll get anything as hard as this in the exam but it's worthwhile being able to um, identify things that are going through mitosis so Okay, so I'd like you to pause now. Right, so let's have a look. So which ones are going through mitosis? Well, these are the ones I counted here. Okay, I'll keep counting. Five, six, seven, eight, 
nine and there are ten so there's ten going through mitotic division of some kind so ten divided by 42 times 100 equals 42 counting whole cells only right let's look at some exam questions so usually you would get exam questions related to mitosis and then something related to the required practical. So I'll be honest, I have had to take parts of questions uh, to give you certain exam questions related to this required practical. So the questions I'm gonna give you now are very kind of popular style of questions. So here we go. So a student investigated the stages of mitosis in a garlic root. The root tip was placed on a microscope slide with a stain. So a cover slip was placed on top and the root tip was firmly squashed. So A, explain why. One, a root tip was used. Two, a stain was used. And three, the root tip was firmly squashed. Now explain, remember that is a command word. That is a, a reason why. So not just describing what you did, but actually trying to say why you did it. Okay, that's really important to state. So I'm gonna pause it. I'd like you to have a go at the questions and then play when you want the answers. Okay, so let's have a look. So why a root tip was used? Well, basically that is where mitosis occurs. Now you'll notice the forward slashes here, that means or. So you could say where division occurs, where growing occurs, etc. So reject growing cells though. You can't just say growing cells. You gotta say where mitosis is occurring. A stain was used, why? Well, the chromosomes um, would be visible with the stain or distinguish the chromosomes. Or you could say alternatively, the chromosomes are not visible without a stain. And then the root tip was firmly squashed. And why? To let light through, to make sure there is a very thin layer, hopefully one cell thick, so you can the light can get through and you can see the actual mitosis occurring in the root tip. Second question, so um, this is about the method and it does say about the putting on the cover slip, so actually doing the root tip squash, sorry, um, and it says, do, but do not push the cover slip sideways. Explain why she was given these instructions. So again, I'd like to pause and have a go at the question. It's two marks. Right, so two, two marks. Okay, so why would they push hard? Well, they've got to squash the root tip tissue. Two, not push sideways because you avoid rolling the cells together. You don't want to break the chromosomes. Um, now, neutral to see the cells clearly. Okay, so you can still see the cells, um, but you're avo avoiding all the cells bunching up together. Anything related to that would be acceptable. This question is a bit more involved. Um, talks about the preparation of the slide. Um, and it says, and the question is, describe and explain, and there's only two marks for this, what the student should have done when counting cells to make sure that the mitotic index he obtained for this root tip was accurate. We haven't really discussed that, so I'd like you to have a go at this question and we'll go through it in a minute, okay? Right, so. We need to think about how it was accurate. Well, there are there are lots of different things, but you've got to describe and explain. So notice the marking scheme. You have to give a description and explain why. So for example, why would you examine, well, you'd, how would you make it more accurate? You examine large numbers of cells. Why? To ensure representative sample. Or you could repeat the count to ensure the figures are correct or the method to deal with part cells shown at the edge uh, in terms of maybe not counting those. So only count whole cells to standardize the counting. Okay, it's worth learning one of those, if not all of them, because they do like to check those kinds of things that you understand that. Hope you found that really useful. Please do subscribe to Dr. Biology and I will see you soon.